Sri Lanka's most powerful news brand. It has been a month since the farmer you see there sowed the seeds on his field. It has been around 14 to 15 days for the other fields here. There wasn't a single grain of fertilizer available at the stores. To the rulers, open your eyes. Forget about forming governments, forming Pradesh Sabhas and taking over power. Focus on working for the farmer. There are seven MPs in the Ampara district representing the UPFA, UNP and Mahinda. The husband and wife, both are ministers. This is the situation of Ampara. We will have to head to the town with our mamatis and axes along with our children. Ampara is one of the key areas in the country that provides rice to the region. You heard the plight of the farmers in Ampara. But the issue is, this is not only affecting Ampara, this is affecting many areas of the country where farming is the main occupation, the main way of life. Keep in mind that these same farmers had to wait without cultivating their lands for nearly four seasons because of the lack of water due to a drought. Now that they have water, they can't cultivate their crops properly because they do not have access to fertilizer. Now, next year, Sri Lanka will be celebrating 70 years of independence from the British colonial rulers. Well, how has our country progressed over these 70 years? What has our country become over the 70 years? Since independence, there has been a vicious form of party politics in this country that has driven this country further into debt, that has driven this country further into an abyss. Party politics has ensured that this once self-sufficient nation is no longer self-sufficient in many of the things we were. We were earlier called the granary of the East, but today our ministers come before the media and say, we are going to feed the hungry by importing rice from overseas. We are going to cut down the cost of coconuts by importing coconuts. What has become of this once self-sufficient nation? Now, this farming community is not the only community that is affected by this continuous vicious cycle of party politics. From the bond scam to issues in highways, to issues in road development networks, to issues in education, in issuing textbooks, in issuing tabs to children. There are many areas in which our rulers have done many unfortunate deeds. Keep in mind, all this comes at a time when there is an election coming up over the next couple of months. So the people should once again think about who they are casting their vote for. Keeping that in mind, let's listen to the views and the plight of these farmers. These are month-old cultivations in a Namal Oya farming settlement in the Ampara district, which is responsible for the supply of a majority of rice to the country. 3,000 farming families with 4,000 acres of cultivations are in despair due to the scarcity of the basic fertilizer, urea. We did not have water the previous harvesting season. This time, there is no fertilizer. The farmers are in a difficult situation. There is no point in the government issuing fertilizer whenever they want. If you are raising a child, you must feed the child on time. The same applies to farming. Traders say even though they unsealed fertilizer packages and tried to sell them in portions, they were not allowed to do so by officials, citing that it is a violation of consumer regulations. More than the government, it is the traders who are helpless as they are unable to sell the fertilizer. Around 100 to 200 farmers fight for fertilizer here every morning. Do not do this to the farmer. There is no fertilizer subsidy nor fertilizer. Take some measure about this. Farmers in the Nikavaratiya Margal Agriculture Settlement, who have cultivated on close to 7,000 acres, have been waiting anxiously for fertilizer for close to a month. Our correspondent said that the situation is the same in many parts of the Kurunagala district. There was no fertilizer in the town either. 
It is apparently available in Hilo Gama. It costs money to travel there. So it will cost around 3,000 rupees for a bag with the transport costs. We spoke with the relevant authorities. The fertilizer secretariat promised we would be given fertilizer. There isn't enough fertilizer in the Nikavari town to even spray some urea. They are being sold at exorbitant prices of 4,000 to 5,000 rupees. I think paddy production has dropped by around 50% because there is no point sowing the paddy without the basic fertilizer. The more the paddy production drops, the government benefits because they can import paddy on commissions. According to our correspondent, a fertilizer scarcity is also prevalent in many parts of Anuradhapura. Director of the National Fertilizer Secretariat, Ajit Pushpakumara, said there is an abundance of fertilizer in areas which were affected by the drought and are yet to begin cultivations. Pushpakumara said thereby priority would be given to areas which have already begun cultivating. He added the scarcity in the world market as the other cause for the current situation. Ajit Pushpakumara went on to note that a decision has been taken to change the main supplier from China to Pakistan, adding that the next stock of fertilizer of 38,000 metric tons would arrive in the country within four days.